with the potential for wet weather, a longer DRS zone and a longer name is trying to do the preview for the Pirelli Gran Premio del Maiden Italy del Emilia Romagna. But I forgot the E. Brilliant. Well, let's talk about this race, the second return for F1 to Imola in as many years. I'm really looking forward to it and it was put to the calendar as a replacement for the Chinese Grand Prix. So, uh, I've got to tell you what, I'm liking the fact that it's been changed out for Shanghai. Though, I am one of the people who does actually enjoy that track. I know a lot of people really hate it. But yes, as I suggested, the DRS zone has been lengthened at Imola for this weekend. Last season, it was around the start-finish line that you were able to deploy your DRS. But now they've changed the detection zone to the entrance to Ravazza, the final two corners. And they've got the actual activation point just before pit entry. It's a bit similar to what we've got in Assetto Corsa, which you can see running around in the background in the Formula Hybrid 2020 mod. And i got to say that makes a lot more sense to have as well. It's going to make it more of an overtaking opportunity into Tamburello, which, let's be honest, that's what people are looking forward to. And it's going to be something that I certainly look forward to seeing, though it's not necessarily going to be the case that we see it used in a race. That's right, because there is forecast for rain on Sunday. Now, we do say this a lot at F1. There is every chance there might not be any rain, but you never know. But let's cast our minds back to 12 months ago. After a qualifying that was pretty close between the two Mercedes with Bottas taking pole position, it was Lewis Hamilton who took the win from his teammate with Daniel Ricciardo in third. We ended up seeing a spin for Alex Albon uh, over the restart and his teammate Max Verstappen was off with a puncher taking him out of the race. We also saw George Russell nearly getting his first points in Formula 1. He did get them with Mercedes at the Sakir Grand Prix but he crashed behind the safety car on lap 51. But let's also cast our minds back to the first race of the season where we saw Lewis Hamilton brilliantly hold off Max Verstappen for a win in what was really thought to be the second best car. Bottas held third with Norris in fourth and then Sergio Perez on his Red Bull debut in fifth, coming back from a pit lane start. That said, is there anything that we can really look forward to? Do we think the Red Bull's going to have the best car out here? It's not necessarily certain right now. I would say that Alpha Tauri has a good weekend coming up. They've been spending a lot of testing time around here, and especially the rookie Yuki Tsunoda, who got points on his debut. Pierre Gasly's been running well at Italian races the past few seasons. Well, as long as he's been in F1, more or less. But what do I think is going to happen? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw both Mercedes on the podium again, but I wouldn't necessarily say that there's going to be a win for Mercedes. I reckon Hamilton, at the very least, will be on the podium. I reckon Verstappen should be, provided he finishes the race. And uh, I reckon that it could be Bottas, could be Checo, could be Lando, could be a whole host of different drivers. A team that we really need to watch out for this weekend is Ferrari. Let's see what that improved engine means for them coming into the first of what's right now two races in Italy. And of course, whilst most of these drivers have done racing here last season... Uh, there are a couple of drivers who haven't. Sonoda is a good example of it. Schumacher and his teammates are also good examples of it. But one of the big ones is Fernando Alonso returning to the sport after a couple of years on the sidelines. He has driven here before. He's won here before in F1. But that was before Varianti Bassa got eliminated and we had the run to the line that we do now. So, could it be that we see the two-time champion perform well? He's got to make up for a non-finish due to mechanical issues at the Bahrain Grand Prix, so it could be possible. But I'd say if there is a team to look out for this weekend, it's going to be Ferrari. Let's see what they can do compared to last season. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.